Uh, mm. You got the Neil Armstrong, by the way, officially. Oh, oh, Neil. We were doing that, too, here during this break. So here's Neil this. Lincoln's. Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon, becoming a hero to generations, has died. You kid. His family says he died following complications resulting from cardiovascular procedures. Armstrong commanded the Apollo 11 spacecraft that landed on the moon July 20th, 1969. Oh, shit. He then radioed back to Earth, where he stated his now famous say? line. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. He and fellow astronaut Edwin Buzz Aldrin spent nearly three hours walking on what the moon. What about Michael Collins, bitch? Look at Michael Collins. What the fuck Michael Collins on the side of the fucking moon, bitch? <laughs> Michael Collins is zipping around the moon alone <laughs> yes. while those two are frolicking. He's jacking off up there. Fuck nice them. space jack. Yeah, they had it easy just hanging out on the moon, gallivanting, <laughs> playing golf. <laughs> futzing around while Michael Collins had to fly behind the moon. No one knew what was back there. Yeah, Who knows? The there monsters. could have just been fucking ship-eating monsters back there. <laughs> <laughs> there could have just been a giant snakehead sticking out, eating, eating spaceships. No one knew. <laughs> Can you imagine he saw that, but he just knows he can't tell anyone? Yeah, no one would believe, no him. <laughs> believe him. Yeah, if he looked down, he saw nightclub lights, but he's like, I can't. No one will fucking <laughs> buy this shit. <laughs> I know. Of. And I don't have a camera, fuck. They have all the cameras. He's the most isolated man in history, was Michael Collins, because when yeah. he was on the other side of the moon, he was cut off from all communications, and uh, there was no... How fucked up is that? And, Wrap your head around that. Farther from any human being than a human has ever been. Yeah, he was But no one talks about Michael cool. Collins. No, they don't. It's always, it's always Neil and Buzz. So he's been yeah. further than anyone. Even though they were the first two on the moon... Without them, did, did, did no one getting home? Imagine if he just left them there. If he just said, "Ah, fuck them." Oh em. man, that's what you get for being first, and then just uh, hung a left. <laughs> I'm gonna hang a Louis. Oh, hang a left. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, that's well, great. Uh, what was the name of that fucking ship, was ship coming back? Oh, Tranquility. Uh, Tranquility. Yeah, Aquarius. Whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're uh, you're off course. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming home. Well, Aquarius was the uh, that was thirteen. Or imagine uh, he's passive aggressive. They have a, they have a fight and he's like, no, I'm not I'm not picking you up. I'm exactly. not picking you up until we solve this <laughs> yeah, issue. Have an apology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I bet you they've never been nicer to anybody than they were to Michael Collins. Oh yeah. Right before he dropped them off. <laughs> see you soon, buddy. Right, right. We'll see you soon. Uh, dinner's on me. That's just fucked up. It really is amazing that and no one knew, it, you know, that it, it was going to work. That's just they that's pretty, amazing. There's they no had a pretty good guys. idea that it was going to work, but no dead guys on the moon. You don't know for sure. Ooh. You know, that's weird. I wish you would have messed this quote up. It's one small step for man, which is surprising because these boots are so dang heavy. <laughs> <laughs> In quotes and on a plaque, so dang heavy. <laughs> so it's weird. <laughs> one small step for man. Although it would probably be bigger if I had longer legs. <laughs> I've got webbed toes. <laughs> they have to put it on the plaque. They have to put it on the plaque. That's hilarious. <laughs> One small... Oh, my bag is stuck to my leg. <laughs> oh, my bag is stuck to my leg. These words will echo yeah. through history. One yeah. small step for a motherfucker. One giant leap for a bunch of motherfuckers. <laughs> Why is he talking like that? Why is he Walking cursing? on the moon, collecting samples Ooh. and conducting experiments. Back on Earth, the former Navy fighter pilot never allowed himself to be caught up in the celebrity and glamour of the space program, calling himself a white socks, pocket protector, nerdy engineer. Neil Armstrong was 82 years old. So he was a true nerd, huh? Yeah, total nerd engineer guy. Not much of a personality? Figuring and calculating. Because he didn't do many interviews, did he? No, he, no. Wasn't, uh, yeah. he wasn't big on that shit. Uh, he was just a nerd. He loved figuring things out. He was a very cool guy. Um, and he was a private person? Where, yeah. Because you, you didn't really hear about Neil Armstrong much. You know why he didn't do interviews? Because he had a weird nervous tick. Yeah. The, it was embarrassing. They would ask him, what was the moon like? He would say, we were on our like, down. And uh, <laughs> we just, Buzz and I felt <laughs> that it was, <laughs> you know, Buzz and I were up. <laughs> We weren't exactly sure what to expect, but we knew that the entire <laughs> buzz always that takes is over. Embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, buzz, why don't you take it? That's why he said one small step. For... <laughs> yeah. He wanted to say something else. Yeah, Tourette's. They got um, pictures of the uh, of the Apollo, the um, mm -hmm. Apollo Eleven um, landing yeah. site, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We we talked about this uh, yeah, a couple weeks ago. Cool. They were able to get pictures of what. 
That's pretty good. The landing site. The and landing the, uh, site. The, the base of the lunar module. And, uh, that's pretty fucking Everything's cool. there. Yeah. That, that would be a pretty cool poster to have on the wall. Man. All that shit's just there for the taking. Imagine what that would uh, would get if you brought it back. Wow. But, you know, it's kind of you hard. You couldn't to sell it. You want to pawn it or sell it? Why couldn't yeah, you sell it? Yeah, this is a landing strut from the original Apollo 11 lunar module um, platform. Ah, uh, you know, not many people are collecting these things. Uh, I'm going to have to, you know, get it restored. Uh, it's going to sit in my shop for a long time. I'll give you 100 bucks. <laughs> well, you know, I had some Apollo 11 stuff, and I sold it. I feel pretty good. I'm going to go out to dinner with my wife. <laughs> Every episode. Do you know it would be great if another country, like the Chinese, sent up a, a ship? Oh, and, uh, I just took our shit. No, but they just decided to land in the same spot, and they video tell say themselves, just karate kicking the flag <laughs> over, <laughs> and, 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 and like d kicking dust on all the footprints. <laughs> and like, And then they dumped out, and they dumped out like these... Plastic baggies of stuff, and they're like, uh, it appears that the Chinese are dumping duty on the <laughs> on the original landing spot. They've, duty. they've kicked over, and now they are dumping uh, bags and bags of duty on the spot. If you were a powerful nation, why wouldn't you do that? Yeah, just to be, oh. just, just go up there and just fuck shit up. That's yeah. your whole. That would goal. really. I don't think that would get a that'd very good whole, ovation. Yeah, and they would be hilarious. Do, doing like horrible shake their hiney dances at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> just ridiculous, just desecrating the place, pissing on it somehow yeah. without their dick freezing off. Or just dumping tinkle, like yeah. blocks of tinkle. Blocks. <laughs> They're throwing duty and blocks of tinkle all over the old landing site. <laughs> Uh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, we got Nixon calling Arr. Neil Armstrong. Hello. And as far as technology goes, I just thought this was really strange because uh, there's Nixon on just an old school phone calling the moon. Uh -oh. Do you need a battery? Do you need a battery? Well, your motherfucking batteries fell out. Nah, those we are officially don't have interns right now, right? I don't think it works. We're intern free for a little while. I think I need a new one. Huh? Yeah, you dropped the megaphone. I know. We got one? No, I think it's just for a day. Oh, for a day. Nice. Yeah. Where's Puppet Hair? <laughs> Which one was Puppet Hair? Sal. Glorified intern Sal. Oh, Sal, right, right. Yeah. So here's Nixon talking to Neil Armstrong. Hello. He's in his office now and would like to say a few words to you, over. He's thinking about it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really uh, like his policies, but uh, could he I call guess we got to do this. Could he call back? I'm dropping a deuce, <laughs> right. and it's really hard. I have my hiney pressed up against the wall and a bag over my spine, and my duty is floating up into the bag. Duty. Can, you tell, can you tell President Nixon I'll get with him in a second? I'm shooting a deuce in the sky, as we like to say. <laughs> Did Nixon get a lot of credit for this, even though it was pretty much Kennedy's vision? Nah, I don't. I don't think so. I think whatever president's in office at the time, you know, gets kind of a little uh, rah rah a thing going. But nah, well, nah. it was uh, it was Lyndon Johnson. LBJ wasn't it? was LBJ big. Kennedy kind motion. of Kennedy kind of uh, started the whole dream of the whole thing, and then LBJ's administration got it going. And then, then why do we always talk about Kennedy? When it was well, LBJ that one. got it done, actually. We in this decade, we will go to the moon and do those other things like fuck Marilyn Monroe. And uh, yes. Mimi Beardsley. Mimi yeah. Beardsley. We will do all of these things. And uh, I will lose my hat in November. <laughs> I'm going to wear a Stetson and it's going to be shot off. The top of my head blew off like the lunar module leaving the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Governor Connolly will hold his hat miraculously. <laughs> that, we're going to go to the moon. And this, this blabbermouth junkie is going to overdose. <laughs> Bobby and I put her on the spit and spun her around while Joe served Mr. Coffee. He's <laughs> in his office now and would like to say a few words to you, over. That would be an honor. Oh. All right, go ahead, Mr. President. This is Houston out. Hello, Neil and Buzz. Hey. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made from the White House. How about ever? I just Wait. can't tell you how proud we all are of what you oh, have yeah. done. Hold on. For every... Hey, motherfucker, it's Michael! Why don't you say hi to me, too? <laughs> How the motherfucker 
he's zipping around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just jumps in. <laughs> Collins just gets all upset. Why the fuck are you here, Neil? Buzz, Buzz, Neil. I can leave the motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's listening in on yes. this? Going, what the what fuck? About what about me? Oh, I'm a piece of shit up here. <laughs> right. Yeah. Jesus Did, Christ. You couldn't hear that? Uh, yeah. What, what about chopped liver? <laughs> you listen real close, you get it. Damn, chopped liver. What about chopped liver? <laughs> fucking accent. What? Why? I, 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 I gotta pick these fucking guys up. What about me? Yeah, yeah you hear Neil going, you know, <laughs> yeah, and Buzz and I, and in the back, and me. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and me. Say hi to the bus driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All are of what you have done. For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world, I am sure that they too join with Americans in recognition of what you have done, feat this is. Because of what you have done, the heavens have become a part of man's world. Oh boy. And as you talk to us from the sea of tranquility, it inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. By bombing Cambodia. For one priceless month. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oops. Oops. Yeah. Yes. Take them two clicks up the Nung River. <laughs> she did a better Nixon over yeah. Pete's sake. Oh, yeah. Anyone does a Nixon, it's, it's easy. Yeah, we, we kind of know what happened after this. Yes. Huh? Huh, Mr. President. Yeah, maybe Oops. Checkers is going to go barking up there or something. Ah, that's a good one. Oh, not really. Hey. <laughs> For one priceless moment oh boy. in the whole history of man, <laughs> all the people on this earth are truly one. Right. One in their pride in what you have done. And one in our prayers that you will return safely to Earth. I think he's trying to come up with a soundbite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like he's like a bunch fuck. of shit against the wall, seeing what's. He's like, fuck. Neil just came up with hey. something good. I got to come up with something just as good here. Yeah, and he's not bring the heavens. Right. 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 But he's not. He's not. It's like how about a convert? He's, he he keeps he keeps just it's missing a statement. it. Statement. Thank God that you've zoomed up. There in the clouds. Uh, <laughs> no, that's no good. Uh, in the heavens. Hey. Try you, heavens. Try heavens. You've made all of us. Peoples feel goodly. Uh, <laughs> as a nation and as a planet, you rule. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're having fun zipping up around there on the moon while Jews and spooks ruin things down here for the rest of us. Uh, it's hope. my pleasure to know there are no Negroes up there right now. The white man holds the high ground. You aren't a Jew, are you? What about Collins? That sounds Jewish. Don't let him land. <laughs> <laughs> He'll try to claim it for himself like they did in Palestine. <laughs> Henry, Henry, these are your people. Make sure the Jew doesn't land. <laughs> You're a little more tricky. Down and there. one in our prayers that you will return safely to Earth. Night. Heard you. Oh, so. Oh. Ah. What was that? I wasn't listening. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great honor, and not only the United States, but presenting not only the United States, but and of peace of all nations, and with interest and a curiosity. Of a lot of figures up. <laughs> yeah. Great ooze. <laughs> what was that? I, I, I like this boy. And with interest and a curiosity and and with a vision for the future. Uh, honor for us to be able to participate here today. And thank you very much and I look forward, all of us look forward to seeing you on the Hornet on Thursday. I look forward to that very much, sir. Goodbye. Was this recording? Was that Buzz at the end? Yeah, I think Buzz yeah. was like, he's got, like, got a few words in. Because he's probably sitting there like, can, yeah. I, can I say Give something to the president? I want to talk to Grandpa. No, you, you heard in the back, you heard, I'm not signing that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cranky asshole Buzz is. <laughs> Buzz. Cranky. Not, Neil must have asked him for an autograph. It's the only two up there. No, get out of here. <laughs> Punch you in the face. This? I didn't write it. I'm not signing it. <laughs> Fucking the president. I don't want to sign it. <laughs> but it's for, you know, it's for my kid. We're on the moon. I'm not signing it. Buzz is cranky. <laughs> How can you be cranky if you walked on the moon? Uh, he probably Wouldn't that tired. take you through your days? Wants your to, remaining days? Wants to get home. 
Yeah, he's, had enough. he's probably had enough of talking about that already. Oh. So you walked on the moon. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> they said, uh, yeah, Neil Armstrong wasn't really uh, too cool about talking about it because it's how many times could you answer how was it to walk on the moon, you know? Yeah, I would have asked oh, him a awesome. better question. Yeah. Did you get a rod up there? Did, like, did you, <laughs> you When you would get an erection, would it slowly swell or would it just doink out and smash the front of your spaceman costume? <laughs> spaceman costume. <laughs> you ever have an itch in your asshole in that outfit? Quickly, Neil. <laughs> Comment, Neil. Yeah. Comment, Neil. Yeah, what would you do if, if you had swamp ass in that thing? Oh. What would you do oh. the bottom of your foot itch? Is that why you guys were jumping around like that? <laughs> like, that itchy foot. You think? So, Neil, did you know you look like a couple of retards bouncing around in those stupid uniforms, <laughs> waving like tards? <laughs> Fucking. Has Buzz said anything about what? the passing of Neil Armstrong? I haven't heard any. Yeah, he, Buzz just, comments. he just tweeted, "LOL." Yeah. <laughs> Good. I bet Buzz was pissed he wasn't first. Mm. Walk out there. 